Turtles are cute little animals that try as much as possible to mind their own business. All they want to do is swim all day and eat seaweed. They would not hurt a fly, even if it sits on their face. This popular perception of turtles is not accurate. There are turtles that look so weird, only their mom would think they're cute. And more importantly, there are turtles that are outrightly dangerous, you could lose a limb if you got too close. Of course, you know all these if you know a lot about animals. But there is much more we would be revealing in this video that you probably don't know. So watch out for number one as we count down the most dangerous turtles in the world. Number 6. The Big-Headed Turtle Some people prefer to call it the platypus turtle. You can find this unique species of freshwater turtle around Southeast Asia. But finding one would be hard because they are an endangered species. As its name suggests, this turtle has a disproportionately large head compared to its body, which is believed to help it crush the shells of its prey. Its head is so big it has a shell of its own since it cannot be retracted into the main shell. If we have learned anything from nature, big-headed animals, more often than not, have nasty bites. And the big-headed turtle is no exception. Fortunately, these gentle giants are more interested in using their bite power in crushing shellfish and other small marine animals it considered food than attacking people. Unlike most turtles, the platypus turtle is a bad swimmer. Its large head makes the turtle resort to crawling under the water, and if the current is strong, it would use its powerful beak to hold onto rocks and plants at the bottom of the river. Another odd feature of this turtle is its unusually long tail. It has one of the longest tails of any turtle, which makes it look like a giant lizard in a leathery shell. Edward would be a good pet name for this turtle, don't you think? Next is the alligator snapping turtle at number 5. The name is no joke. This turtle is literally an alligator with a shell, and they are huge too. The fully grown ones may be only a stout length of 2.5 feet. They can weigh as much as 220 pounds. Just like alligators, you do not want any part of your body close to the mouth of this turtle. The alligator snapping turtle is known for its powerful jaws and sharp beak, which can deliver a crushing bite that makes it one of the most dangerous turtles in the world. This turtle is a total badass and has a bad temperament. They do not play nice at all. You lose your guard around this monster, and you may lose some part of your body too. While its intimidating looks alone are enough to make most predators think twice about attacking it, the alligator snapping turtle is not to be underestimated. It has a bite force strong enough to break bones and can easily take off a finger or toe if provoked. In fact, it's been reported that alligator snapping turtles have bitten through fishing hooks and even metal traps. This turtle would feed on anything too slow to get out of its way, including snakes. The alligator snapping turtle snacks on snakes like ramen noodles. They are opportunistic predators and will eat almost anything they can catch, including fish, frogs, snakes, and even small mammals and birds. Number 4. The Common Snapping Turtle This turtle is smaller than the alligator snapper, and they do not look as dangerous too, but don't be fooled by its pious look. This turtle has a much stronger bite force than the alligator snapping turtle. They are just average-sized turtles measuring 18 inches long and weighing about 30 pounds with a tapered head that looks really sweet. You would be tempted to give it a kiss. Fall for this temptation and you may need to get new lips. Just like its cousin, it has a very aggressive disposition and has over two times the bite force of a human coupled with the fact that it has razor-shaped beaks that work like a pair of scissors. The common snapping turtle, also known simply as the snapping turtle, is a species of freshwater turtle found throughout North America. Despite having the ability to shred flesh, this turtle prefers to swallow its prey whole. It's capable of this feat thanks to its unique anatomy, which allows it to expand its esophagus to accommodate large objects. Additionally, 
It's been observed using its sharp claws to climb over obstacles and even clamber up steep river banks. Number 3. The Mata Mata Turtle The Mata Mata is definitely one of the oddest looking animals in existence. This turtle looks like a pile of dead leaves just came alive. The head of the Mata Mata is so covered in bumps, flaps, and spiky bits that you'd think it got caught in a kitchen blender. Its unusual head is triangular and flat, and it has a rough, rigid shell. Its most distinctive feature, however, is its long, snorkel-like snout, which it uses for breathing while submerged. Don't be fooled by how comical this freak of nature looks. Their bites are extremely fast, and you would not see it coming. It has a long neck that is very flexible, and it can deliver a quick and forceful bite on a wide range around its body. This prehistoric-looking turtle is a unique species of freshwater turtle found in South America. It's a highly specialized ambush predator, lying motionless on the river bottom and using its snout to lure fish and other prey close enough before launching at lightning speed to grab its prey. One of the most interesting aspects of Mata Mata turtles' behavior is their unique method of breathing, as they can take in oxygen both through their lungs and through specialized skin flaps on their neck. Number 2 is the Doll's Toad-Headed Turtle The Doll's Toe-Headed Turtle is one you probably never knew existed. Even though it is not popular, this turtle has the strongest bite force of any turtle. It can bite with a force of about 480 newtons, which is over three times the bite force of the alligator snapping turtle. An unbelievable feat for a turtle that looks so timid. They are a species of small freshwater turtle native to South America. These turtles are known for their unique appearance and fascinating behavior. The most distinctive feature of the doll's toad-headed turtle is its large triangular head with a flattened snout and bulbous eyes. Its shell is typically dark brown or black, with bright yellow or orange markings on the sides and limbs. They grow to be around 6 to 8 inches in length and are found in slow-moving rivers and streams in the Amazon basin. Their powerful bite is used in cracking open tough snail shells and crushing small fish. While they are not typically aggressive towards humans, they can become defensive if threatened or handled improperly. One interesting behavior of the doll's toe-headed turtle is its ability to breathe through its cloaca, a multi-purpose opening used for excretion, reproduction, and respiration. This allows them to remain submerged for extended periods of time while still taking in oxygen. At number one are pet turtles. This includes a wide range of turtles, such as the red-eared slider eastern box turtle and African side-neck turtle. Unlike the previous turtles in this video that are dangerous because of their ability to snap, pet turtles are dangerous in a very sinister way, and if care is not taken, they can be lethal. While salmonella bacteria is fatal to humans, it is just normal gut bacteria in most turtles. So having a pet turtle brings humans directly in contact with this deadly bacteria. The risk is so real that the Food and Drug Administration, better known as the FDA, and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, warn that salmonella infections from pet turtles are a serious public health concern. Salmonella is a type of bacteria that can cause illness in humans. It's commonly found in the intestines of turtles, and the bacteria can be shed in their feces. Humans can become infected with salmonella by handling turtles or their habitats, or accidentally ingesting the bacteria through their mouth after handling a turtle. The FDA and CDC strongly advise against keeping pet turtles, especially for households with young children or individuals with weakened immune systems. If a household does decide to keep a turtle as a pet, it's important to follow proper hygiene practices, such as washing hands thoroughly with soap and water after handling a turtle or its habitat, and not allowing turtles to roam freely in the household. Salmonella infections can cause symptoms such as fever, diarrhea, and abdominal cramps which can be severe and lead to hospitalization in some cases. Therefore, it's crucial to take precautions and follow safety guidelines when handling pet turtles to prevent the spread of salmonella and avoid potential illness. In the wild, danger comes in all forms, 
and even the gentle turtle can pose a real threat. Which of these turtles scares you the most? Leave a comment below.